The next set of holes we'll need to drill is for the motor mounts. Motor mounts get installed on the cross brace and two uprights. We lay it out using the marker to mark where each of the sets of holes goes. Once you have the hole locations marked for all three motor mounts, go ahead and use the 3 seconds drill bit and drill out those holes. Now at this point in time, the locations of the holes and angles that they're at isn't important. We'll be adjusting that later when we mount our motors. Now that we have those holes drilled, we'll take the motor mounts and the small screws and go ahead and screw those on. We'll just put them on loosely at this point until we have the motors to mount onto the frame later. After we get the motor mounts installed, the last step it will be to install the flotation. To do that, we'll take the H-beam provided in the kits, we'll cut this in half, and then install the flotation into the PVC pipe openings. Okay. So we take the flotation, the H-beams, and go ahead and stretch out your C-perch, put your flotation in, and do that again for the other side. Once you have all of that assembly done, you can go ahead and tighten up your seat perch, making sure that all your fittings are in tight and snug. Now that the frame is fully assembled, we'll take the piece of mesh provided and mount it to the bottom of the seat perch using the zip ties from the kit. Go ahead and offset it so that it lines up on one side of your seat perch, and then we'll use the scissors to trim off the excess on the other side. Once you have all the zip ties installed, go ahead with a pair of scissors and cut off the excess. And that's our C-Perch frame.